Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell from the title, we're gonna talk about certain vegetables today and their role in your digestive process and what to do if they're bothering you right now and what you wanna understand about how they actually can help you with getting what you want, which is a healthy, good feeling digestive system where you have lots of energy, where you trust the foods that you eat, where you don't get bloated, you don't feel sick, you don't have stomach pains and all of those good things, okay? So I have my friend, the cauliflower here. Um, I just cut some of this off last night. I was putting it in my salad. So I have a few things I wanna talk about with you guys, but the first main point is that broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, these vegetables that are in the cruciferous vegetable family, they do not make you bloated, okay? Even if you consumed them yesterday and then your stomach was bloated, they do not make you bloated. What's going on is, first of all, we need to understand that all plants, all fruits and vegetables are healing foods. They don't hurt you. They're never hurting you. It's always a misunderstanding of the reaction of the internal system and what's going on and the way you're feeling it and assuming that it's the food that is the problem, okay? But what's actually happening is you wanna see that cruciferous vegetables like broccoli and cauliflower, um, Brussels sprouts, etc., leeks, they are so potent and so powerful especially when we're talking about gut issues and bacteria levels or viruses even, but specifically bacteria in the gut, bad bacteria in the gut, that what you feel and therefore feel as bloated, what you feel as a reaction and then for, therefore see as like a bloated stomach is not because the cauliflower made you bloated. It's because the cauliflower was fighting for you. It's because the broccoli or the cauliflower was going into your digestive system, in your gut, in your stomach, in your small intestine, and it was killing off bad bacteria in there and trying to eliminate them and overpower them for you. And what you felt was a die-off symptom or a die-off reaction or just a, a, a sensation of what was going on inside. So it wasn't that this is wrong and you should stop eating it, but it's just telling you, wow, I'm eating these really gut healing foods, these really powerful bacteria busting foods, and I must have bad bacteria in there because I felt bloated after I consumed them. Okay, now I know that if you're having a lot of serious gut issues, it's still not fun to eat this stuff. If you tell me like, Jody, I'm eating real foods and I'm feeling sick, that's not cool, right? Nobody wants to feel that. So I, here's a couple of ways you can look at it and what you could do. So um, one, you can omit them for a period of time, but avoidance is never the solution. And this is really going to tie into why I don't do food sensitivity tests anymore, because the overall premise is wrong. It's not the truth. And it is like the same thing here. When you were to eat, if you if you were to eat a banana, if you were to eat broccoli, if you were to eat a potato, and then you got a reaction on a food sensitivity test saying it was high or moderately reactive, that was the same thing I just told you. It was because those foods were doing their own powerful healing work within you and there is a root issue problem that is the same for all humans. It's a, a virus, a bacteria, a parasite issue. It's a toxic load issue. Um, it's heavy metals. It's those kind of things are the problems. It's not the food, okay? It's not the food. The vegetables are good. So you can omit them in a, in a, for a period of time, but only if you're doing that while you're working on healing the gut. And what that means is you are focused on pouring into your body the foods that are going to promote easy, healthy, soothe digestion. Because if you don't have that, you're gonna forever be stuck in a cycle where you're eating broccoli and you're getting stomach pains. So it's not this, it's not cauliflower or broccoli, it's that overall inside of your gut, there's too much bad bacteria, not enough good, not enough energy flow, too many toxins and those kind of things. So you have to be pouring in a lot of plants and you really want to be pouring in specifically, I'll do my next video on this, foods that are more geared specifically towards soothing the digestive system so that when you start to add them back in, 
you know that you are not going to feel that same sensation or reaction, but it takes pouring in the things that are good, meaning like saturating your body with the healing foods that are easy to digest, that are easy to break down. And at the same time, you're not going to put in foods that are going to keep you in the cycle of bad digestive energy and keeping bad bacteria activated and alive. So that means like you're not going to consume dairy, you're not going to consume gluten, you're not going to consume um, heavy proteins and fats or canola oils or things like that. Those things are going to keep you stagnated, whereas broccoli and cauliflower, you might feel the sensation, but you could continue to eat them even right now, but change your internal state and know like this means this is working. This means it's working for me, but I, that's why I put my whole trust your gut course protocol together so that you would know exactly what every food did so you wouldn't question or worry what's happening as you move step by step through the protocol, right? Because you wanna have that inner knowing and that peace that all of this is good, all of this works and I'm getting, I'm moving forward doing this and I feel safe doing this, right? I know that I'm doing the right things. So you take out all of those triggering foods and then the root causes will dissipate and dissolve when you gotta put the right ones in. So you can still keep eating broccoli and cauliflower if it makes you bloated right now, knowing that it's a healing reaction inside. You could eat less of it. You could cook it. Um, cooking food is actually harder to digest for your body, but it is the food is not as activated. It's not quite as potent, right? If you were ever, um, you know, raw food is very powerful. So if you did a raw food cleanse, or for example, that's why it's all, it's, it's fresh, it's active, it's alive, right? So it's actually more, it's actually easier for the body to break it down that way, but you're going to also notice perhaps that the healing process is more quick and accelerated. So if you don't like that or you don't feel ready for that, you could cook your food using a water method, steaming or water saute or broth saute or something like that um, to, to deactivate it a little bit, but you're still getting the potency because it's still a real vegetable. It's still a real healthy healing food and keep it into your protocol, keep it into your diet. So I've had clients do it both ways. Sometimes they'll take it out for a week because you guys, this happens so quickly. Your body will catch on so fast when you give it the foods that are so soothing to it and that are so, um, you know, just easy to, to take in. It really is like you need to give your digestive system a little vacay because it's really tired and it's burnt out, okay? That's what gut issues are. And so it's not the cauliflower, it's not the broccoli. Please don't blame them. Please don't say those foods make me bloated. They don't, they don't, okay? So it's always what's actually happening and helping you to understand that so you can make the progress that you want, get the body that you want, have that good feeling gut that you want and, you know, trust that everything's working now, okay? So if you're interested in working with me, you can look at the Trust Your Gut course protocol is linked below. There's a one-on-one -on -one option you can do with the course, or you can book into a different one-on-one -on -one coaching package, whatever feels right for you. Um, I just want you to know that the answers are here and you don't need to suffer and you don't need to do a bunch of medications or drugs because your body knows what to do and food is our major healing tool, okay? So I hope this video helped you. If you have any questions, drop them down below. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.